Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you five fun facts you might not have known about slimes and magma cubes in Minecraft. Both these mobs are ones which are pretty confusing, especially to new players, because unlike the rest of the mobs in the game, which look vaguely like something from real life, whether it's real or fictional, uh, both these mobs are just giant green or red cubes, which bring a lot of pain and death to people. So I figured telling you five fun facts about these big cubes of pain and death might just be a fun thing to do, and that's what I'm doing with today's video. So please do all like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do want to see more stuff like this on the channel, but let's get straight into it already, shall we? So let's start off the history of the slime, because this is actually really uh, reasonably interesting, because if you've only been playing Minecraft for a little bit, you might think the slimes are a relatively new mob, but actually the opposite is true. They were the fifth mob added to the game, that's right, just the fifth, and they actually used to be entirely different. They used to have an entirely different sound, and they used to have like, you know, more solid eyes. Right now they've got a slightly darker color for the eyes, but they used to have black eyes, and they used to look like this. I'll just show it on the screen, and uh, yeah, basically they've changed quite a bit since then, and uh, their whole spawning system has changed, and yeah, the slime block uh, is just, uh, or the slime, you know, m m mob I should say, has changed a lot since it was first introduced to Minecraft, but it is still bouncing, and of course we later had the Magma Cube. So the Magma Cube is really, really interesting, because even though it's meant to be kind of like a carbon copy of the slime, but for the Nether, you know, like a lot of mobs are in the Nether, uh, it kind of has a lot of really cool twists, and one of those really interesting twists that you might not know about is that, you know, you might figure, oh, it just has a different amount of health, that's why it's so much hard to kill, but both these mobs actually have the same amount of of health, which is 16, uh, you know, health points or eight hearts roughly. But the magma cube actually has the most armor in the game, uh, like attached to it by default, because it actually has, I believe it is, uh, you know, a, a full 48% reduction from damage attacks to it. So even though it has, you know, eight hearts, and it should be killed by, you know, you can see my plus seven attack sword. Uh, it should be killed in, you know, like two or three hits by the sword. It will actually take more than that, as I'll show you. But actually, yeah, let's just, no, actually, yeah, let's really take a uh, sport, uh, magma cube and let's show you that it actually takes more than two hits, which is because of the armor. So yeah, let's um. One one hit, <laughs> ow, <laughs> two hit, three hit, and four, oh, four hit before it's finally taken out, even though it has 16 health points, and, you know, this one has seven, so that was 28 points of damage, uh, plus the fist I did right there, and it still didn't probably die, so yeah, that's why, uh, you know, the magma cubes are hard to kill, they don't actually just, you know, have more health, they just have a lot of armor built in, and they have the most armor built in, so let's just get rid of all these magma cubes so they don't follow me around, and let's move on to the next fun fact, which is also to do with uh, how difficult these things are to kill, because it's to do with the, uh, you know, regional difficulty and how this affects slime, so you might figure that slime spawn randomly, you know, whether you get a big one, a medium one or a little one, or you might figure it's based on, you know, like how big the area is or like what level the moon's at, but it's actually based on regional difficulty, which kind of includes that moon thing, and basically this means that when you first, you know, uh, move to a chunk which can spawn slimes, whether it's a swamp or whether it's just below ground, uh, you know, they'll actually spawn with roughly one third chance of being medium, one third chance of being small, and one third chance of being the large, massive size you see right there. However, as you, you know, you spend more time in that chunk, the difficulty increases, mobs will spawn with armor on more and stuff like that, but also the slime will get bigger and bigger on average and until you get to the point where 50% of your slimes are this big. It's not that massive a difference but it is a pretty cool one that most people don't know about because, you know, it doesn't really come up that often but if you want to get more, you know, big magmas, uh, big um, slimes in a chunk then make sure that you stay there for long enough and if you want to get small, you know, slimes, more big slimes try and avoid it as much as you can because the longer you spend there, the bigger the slimes will get basically, which is a pretty cool little thing. Um, next up here, we actually have the fact that the magma cube, uh, you know, in addition to being, you know, again, the these two mobs are meant to be the same in so many ways, but the Magma Cube, as well as having double the effective health, or almost double the effective health because of its armor, also has the really neat benefit of being able to jump massively, uh, you know, higher. So you can see uh, this slime is pretty well contained in just a three, you know, uh, block high glass, even though it's two blocks high by itself. But yet yeah, this one over here is almost jumping out of its six block high prism. This is because the Magma Cube can jump the highest out of any mob in the game at four blocks tall. That's right, it can jump a whole four blocks tall and it's uh, its size uh, largest, and that's kind of crazy. And just quickly show you that, as you can see, it's not even at the second block up there, but yeah, it's going to go just a bit above the uh, you know, the actual top up there, so yeah, very, very crazy um, you know, magma cubes, they can jump massive distances, and if you want to surprise someone when they really figure they're safe, I guess you can use this against them, but either way, it's crazy that they can jump the toilets, and I believe that's the highest that you can naturally jump in Minecraft as well, and it's just doing it, so you can never out jump a magma cube, no matter how much you want to believe, and no matter, like, what level of jumping potion you've got on, and yeah, that's just kind of that right there, so let's move on to the last little fun fact, which will involve us quickly switching it to nighttime, uh, because a, a fun little fact is, even though both these mobs are hostile, and I could probably prove that by walking in here if you really want me to, so there's, there's me being hit by that, and here's me being hit by this, what a, <laughs> what a useful little demonstration, but yeah, even though they're both very clearly hostile mobs, uh, they're not actually affected by the, you know, you can't sleep while they're hostile,
the mobs around. So you can see, even though I'm sleeping right next to the mamba cube and seeing the slime, I can actually get to sleep and wake up and also flat in the glass there. But yeah, you can actually, I, I can actually wake up even though, uh, you know, even though it's, um, so actually I'll turn off that, turn on Deluxe Cycle. But yeah, as you can see, it will let me wake up even though, uh, you know, I've got two massive mobs there, which it shouldn't let you do with any other mob in the game, but for some reason these do not count as hostile mobs for the sake of sleeping, which means you can sleep in your slime farm and you can't really sleep in the nether because that's not going to go too well. But yeah, yeah, that is a fun little fact you might have known. They don't count as hostile mobs for the purpose of beds, which means you can sleep with a slime literally bouncing next to you. So I hope you did all enjoy this video. If you did like it, please do like it and let me know. Uh, before we end the video, though, I'll just give you a little bit of a bonus one in case you're like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm not too amazed just yet. Uh, what I'll actually show you is a size 100 slime. So, you know, you can get size 1, size 2, and size 4 slimes, the biggest ones you can actually find. But by altering this number, you can actually get slimes much bigger than you reasonably ever should and they go up to size 100 so i'll just quickly show you one of those and uh, yeah that's that so i hope you did all enjoy the video if you did like it please do like it and let me know share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here let me know in the comments down below if any of these were a shock to you or what your favorite fact about the slime and magma cube is whether it's in the video or whether it wasn't and um also i guess i'll see you all in the next video so thank you all for watching and have a nice day goodbye